Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to rename one of your devices under your Apple ID account. Now, if you have iPhone, if you're using your Apple ID for multiple iPhones, as you can see, I'm using for iPhone, iPad, a MacBook, whatever the case is, any of the Apple product, by generic, they're just named iPad, iPhone, MacBook, and they don't really give you much detail. So if you have a multiple device and you want to distinguish between them, you need to be able to change the name in order to distinguish them. For example, here I have iPhone 15 plus, but if you had like multiple of them, you wouldn't be able to tell which one is who. So how do you change that name? So we'll show you how to do that. So in order to do that, first thing is you have to use the same app ID on both devices here. As you can see here, I have app ID here and it's going to be the same one on there. Now, the device that you want to change the name to, you have to actually have that physical device itself because you need to access that device and then go into its setting and then go to general about and here is the name here now even after you change the name here you have to do one more thing so here I'll change it to iPhone 15 plus blue and then I'll put tech no minch techno okay that's fine so there's a character limit right I changed the name of it and then once I change the name of it right I need to also restart this phone. You have to do it two times for some reason. So I'll turn it off twice. Now for the this iPhone, I'll just press the volume up and the side button at the same time to open the, to open the menu to slide to power off. And then I'm going to turn that phone off. Now, when it turns off completely, I will turn it back on and turn it off again. And then I'll check the device to make sure the name has updated on my other device or my Apple ID account. So I'll go ahead and turn this on once it's shut down again by holding the side button here. And before doing the second reboot, you can also go ahead and check to see if it updated. Sometimes it updates it. Sometimes you might have to do a second update. So here's this phone. So here's the second iPhone here. It doesn't look like it updated. So I'm going to close out the setting app, see if it updates again. Like I'm not going to do airdrop, but I'm going to go ahead and check to see if the iPhone 15 name has changed. And as you can see here, it changed already here for me. But some users, we noticed that they might have to reboot a second time for some reason. So you can reboot again. Another way to reboot quickly on your iPhone is by going to settings, general, shut down here, slide to power off. If you didn't want to do the button method, both method works. But a second time does the charm for some users in some iOS version. This seems to be a bug or something. So, and then once it turns off, you can just hold the side button or plug it into a charger. It will turn the phone on for you. And hopefully you see the updated device name renaming that you have done on your Apple account. Now this device name will update it to all of your other devices as well with the new updated. And it's easier to you know, recognize that device now instead of just having generic the word iPhone. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.